for our viewers who don't know about SoundCloud, yep. tell us a little bit about it. So SoundCloud is very simple. It's basically, it's the world's leading online audio platform that allows anybody to share audio they've created and anybody to experience that audio that other people have shared. So it could be somebody in Tokyo sharing a piece of music they just created, somebody in Sudan enjoying that piece of music and commenting on it. So. We think that one of the most exciting things about the internet is how people can be social and connect with each other through different types of content and media. And we've done that with audio. Um, some people describe us as the, the, the YouTube of audio, which I think is a, is a decent explanation. I wonder, that brings me to my next question. In the age of video, we've seen the success of YouTube, uh, Vivo, Hulu. Yeah. Why go audio specific when we see users attracted to online and visual content? Yeah, I, I think as humans, we have multiple senses and we're interested in multiple ways of multiple experiences so you know we read even though we look at pictures we look at pictures even though we look at videos and when we're looking at videos we're also listening to things so it's just different modalities of how we experience the world and as an ex-sound engineer you know I, I really like audio because I feel one of the beautiful things about it is that it evokes a lot of emotion um, much more so than images or text so often when you hear things you tend to feel something just imagine listening to music it, it always makes you feel in a specific way and I think you know uh, an internet without audio audio um, is a very silent and boring place. Now SoundCloud has very humble beginnings. It was a two-man band, so to speak, yeah. and it's grown to, as you say, one of the largest, if not the largest, audio sharing platform in the world. A lot of funding uh, along the way, some supporters of the likes of Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. What do you think has been the success behind SoundCloud? Why are people so interested in what you're doing right now? I think, I think there's there's at least two important things. One is that Eric, my co-founder and I, we're very inspired by just the internet itself. Um, we see it as a new kind of medium and we're really looking at, you know, what can you do differently with the internet as a medium versus traditional broadcast? And it are, it's these things of, you know, having bi-directional support. So you can, you can uh, put things into the cloud and take things out of it. And you can have people be present inside of the platform as well. And I think we've really respected like what the internet is good at and tried to explore that a lot. Um, rather than just you know um, continue something that existed before and the second piece is just that I think in everything that we do we really take a step back and think about how does this work for the person using it much more so than uh, our own business strategy or company structure all of those things are secondary it's the primary thing is just about how does this feel to somebody how does it feel when you know, two people in the different parts of the world connect over something that got created and that's always sort of what we're focusing on but now you've got two parties to the mix you've got the generators of the content and then you have the consumers like me how do you balance the needs and wants of both well I mean it, as a platform for multiple people we we even have more stakeholders than that I mean just the the, the the difference in creators is massive you have you know President Obama versus 50 cent versus my cousin recording his kids very different creators very different needs and then the listeners as well somebody wants to go in and listen to a news broadcast somebody wants to go in and, and hear you know the latest house track that was just produced by a big artist so it's a lot of different kind of of, of people using it and companies individuals um, but I think that that's actually something really good for us because it means we have to sort of in some ways go through this long checklist of is is this simple and good enough to work for all of these different people and if it is then it's probably something so simple and so, so fundamental that it's important for billions of people. Now, Alex, out of the 500 tech pioneers that have been invited to the World Economic Forum over the last uh, 10 years or so, 75% uh, are still independent, like yourself, and 25% have been bought up by the giants. And I'm talking about the likes of Google, of Mozilla. Any plans in the future? I know you guys are very secretive about how you run your business and your revenues, but you know, are we seeing a potential Twitter story in the making one day? I think, to, and to be totally honest, it's not on it's not on our roadmap or in our plans. Like we we think that um, a large scale audio platform for billions of people is something that has to exist in the world, and we're in the best position to build that. Um, what we do along the way to make that real, so that billions of people can have the experience we want, that we'll figure out along the way. But but so far we have no other plans than staying independent for a long time. I look forward to catching up with you next year. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. That was Alexander Young, CEO and co-founder of SoundCloud.